in this session we are going to focus on control ID which is nothing but the MSH 10 the message header field 10 which is nothing but the control ID the control ID is mainly used for tracking and coordinating purpose when we get any specific message each and every message will be assigned with a very distinctive control ID it's like a roll number or pin number your license number so it's a completely unique number assigned to any particular message so when you say how it is used in tracking for example if you are using any healthcare integration tools I just uh, kept it uh, marked to low here and I want to track any specific message and someone has given me control ID as one two three one two three one two three and I'm using this and I'm searching this perfect I got my message with the control ID one two three one two three so ninety percent of uh, the interface developers or the PR developers use control ID the HL7 developers use control ID to search things to make it very easy they don't want to track on the basis of time or anything they can use control ID and track it down so I don't want to go to integration engine but yeah I want to explain specifically on HL7 control ID is a very unique uh, identifier which will help us to identify and track messages so in later uh, tutorials you will understand what is the specific use of control ID if I go to my notes if you ask me what is control ID I say tracking purpose so mainly I use this for tracking purpose most of them so this ID doesn't have any relationship with any medical data or PHI data or anything related to uh, the patient this is completely technically generated for HL7 tracking purpose so it helps us to track uh, the message which has been sent from one application to another application there will be like thousands of messages passing on each and every day not a single one right so the control ID is uniquely assigned so it will be very very helpful for tracking purpose now let's end it short and sweet and we'll go to other fields